Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna configure a DHCP server specifically on Windows Server 2022. But before we get into that, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server 2022, remote desktop licenses, or a host of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so here we are on Windows Server 2022. Uh, this is a virtual machine. This is a licensed copy of Windows Server. And we're quite simply just gonna start with the server manager. Go ahead and full screen this. And we can see here that I already have the DHCP roles um, installed. Now I haven't done much configuring, but either way we're gonna show you guys as if you have not installed the roles. Uh, so in the manage tab at the top, we're gonna hit add roles and features. We're going for the role-based or feature-based installation. Make sure that the, your correct server is selected in the server pool. And then here we can see that mine's already checked, but you would basically do the DHCP server and it's gonna install any um, relevant features that are needed to host the server. So once you do that, you can click through, click install, and then it's probably gonna require a server restart. So once you do that, just go ahead and come back to the video. All right, so the first notable difference, once you have that installed, if we go to um, Active Directory Users and Computers, and we go to users, we can see the DHCP uh, administrators and users, which would not previously have been here. Again, once it's uh, added here, we can go to tools and go down to DHCP. From our domain, we can click down and expand under IPv4. Creating a scope is as easy as right-clicking it and hitting new scope here. And that brings up the new scope wizard. We can hit next and we can give the scope a name. Uh, we can call it whatever we want in this case. All right, now we're gonna label our IP address range. Uh, for this example, I'm going to do 10.0.0.1. And I can actually just give it the whole range of the entire 254 uh, addresses. And uh, length will be 24. In the next page, we have uh, an exclusions and delay setting. So for example, if I don't want it to give out to the first 100 addresses, I could fill that in here. And let's say I want another exclusion where I don't want to give out the last 50. And with those two exclusions, I can hit next. Next up is the durations. This is how long the IP address is gonna be leased to a specific MAC address. Now there's a couple of other options that you can configure. First one being the default gateway. Uh, in my case, it's .254. When a client is requesting an IP address, they'll also be assigned this as a gateway. We can do the same thing here with the DNS server. Uh, I believe next, yeah, we have a Win server. If you have a Win server, you can configure that here. And then uh, you can select, yes, I want to activate this scope now. All right, we can click finish. And once you've made that change, you can right click on the domain name. And then under all tasks, we can hit restart. And once that's done, we can go to IPv4 and see the scope that we created as an active status. Clicking into the scope, we can see the address pool, which shows the exclusion ranges. Uh, we can also see the address leases. Uh, so if we booted servers, we would then see the address leases in this uh, directory here. Uh, if we wanted to do reservations, we could set that up right here. Right click and new reservation. So you could give this um, a name here and then the IP address that you do want to reserve. Uh, here are the scope options. Uh, right clicking in here, we could configure additional options and set various other uh, rules or masks. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about any parts of this process, drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. A like and subscribe goes a long way towards helping us make more videos like these. And we highly encourage you to put any video topic ideas that you specifically want us to cover down below. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.